know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. There's nothing you fight more. Either you come to church on an attitude. The, the biggest fights amongst couples are on Sunday morning. Go and check it. Before church. Mapidam church, you look at your husband. Because my neta naga. And, the, and because of the children, you had to come to church. You had no choice. Mapidam church, you're, you're looking at him saying, Amen. Amen. Why? It's a conspiracy to blind your mind against the glorious gospel. If it doesn't do that, you'll bring offense. One statement in Nokota and a pastor could maybe pastor was not able to say, Ah, come on, I'm going to say, Ah, can you imagine a whole man of God? After that, I'll just say, Maybe no one has said, Is this I've been counting the Amin Church 20 weeks, and Sana will never take a tie. All to make you not focus on the. That's 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 mine. You run the You not say, just to blind your mind from the glorious gospel. It is hard to stay in a word-based church. Huh? Listen to this. The Bible says you plant seed. This is it. That, that is that you plant the seed of the word. This way, right? But listen to what it says. And immediately, immediately, what happens? The devil comes with persecution. For what? For the word's sake. For the word's sake. After a powerful message is preached, watch before church and watch after church. Church is bad news. Why bad news? Why it's not going to why it's now going to That word is coming to disturb Shokora. Why does say? So after some of the most powerful conferences, you get some of the biggest disappointments. To make you forget the glorious gospel that has been shared with you. So you need to safeguard the word. Please write that down. Safeguard the word. Safeguard the word. Chengeteza. Shock, running or poor. Guard it, protect it. Say the glorious is gospel. The gospel is glorious. The glorious is the gospel. The gospel is glorious. So there's glory in the gospel. Are you listening to me? Everything you want and need in life, where you need to see a miracle, you must find a scripture first. You must find the scripture first. This is so important. Proverbs 24. Look at this. In verse 13, he says, My son, eat honey because it is good. All right? He's not just talking about natural honey here. He's talking about spiritual honey. Remember, I told you a deeper level of the word of God is honey. All right? He says, Eat honey. It is what? It is good. And the honeycomb, which is sweet to your taste, right? So, shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your son. Hello? You see that? So when I read the word, it is good and it is wisdom. Right? 
Listen to this now. I, I want us to focus on the next part. He says, if you have found it, there shall be a reward. If you have, if you have, there shall be a what? A reward. And your hope will not be cut off. Your hope will not be cut off. If you have, if you have, I need, that's the key word. If you have, if you have, all right, now, if you don't find it, there's no hope. You can go through a very difficult season in your life, but the, what enables you to go through that season is you found a scripture that gives you hope in the midst of a hopeless situation. So, if you have not found it, your situation is hopeless. Say, I have to find it. Say, I have to find it. So, from today, when you get into the scriptures, you are getting in there to find something. Mm, I wish somebody would get it. You are, you, are, you are getting in there to find something. You are, you are not, you, you, I don't read my Bible. I research. I search and I research the scriptures. I search and research the scriptures for solutions to bugging problems. I search. I research the scriptures. I study the scriptures. I, I, I'm looking for divine solutions to earthly problems. You see, when you look at the Bible from that perspective now, your respect for the word changes. Your expectation when you are studying the word changes. Hello? So, you need to go back to your notes now from the conference. Right? There are things, profound things that were shared there. Of what was shared, not everything was for you. But there are certain things that stood out for you. Hello? That which stood out is what you found. Is what you found. And when you find it now, there is a reward. So now, automatically, for searching and researching in the scriptures, there is a reward. This is tangible results from the word of God. Say tangible results from the word of God. Hallelujah. So I must find it. Raise your right hand. Say I must find it. Say I must find wondrous things from the word of God. I must find it. I must look for it. Not just look for it, but I must find it. And when I find it, when I find the truth from the word of God, there will be a transformation. There will be a reward. My expectation will not be cut off. My hope will be raised in Christ when I find it. Lord, help me as I open the scriptures, as I open the scrolls, help me to find it. Praise God. So anytime I get into the scriptures, I must come out with a finding. I must come out with something. When, when I get into a church service, I must come out with something. I must come out with something. Praise the name of the Lord. You will come out with something. I said you will come out with something. You will come out with something that will turn your test into a testimony. I'm talking to you. You will come out with something. I prophesy you will come out with something. From every single church service you attend, you will come out with something. From every morning prayer, you will come out with something. From every midnight prayer, you will come out with something. You, from every encounter with the word, you must come out with something. Praise the name of the Lord. Say, I'm coming out with something. Say it again. Say, I'm coming out with something. This is so important. This is so important. I want you to pray and say, Lord, say with me, say, Lord, remove the veil from my spiritual face so I can see wondrous things from your word. Praise God. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Breaking the chains, unlocking your destiny.